Recognized as two talented players from different generations, Pepe and Pele are two football stars who are true references in football and are considered the best in the world. But have you ever wondered which of them has the greater expertise in each skill? In this video, you're going to see a fierce battle between Pepe and Pele. So, let's get to the fight. Dribbles Both football stars are known for their exceptional skills, but which one excelled more at dribbling? Kylian Mbappe, for example, is an extremely skillful and fast player who is surprisingly able to change direction quickly, leaving defenders confused and unable to keep up with him. Mbappe has a large repertoire of dribbles that he likes to use frequently during matches. One of the dribbles he uses a lot is the nutmeg, a technique in which he passes the ball between his opponent's legs. Another dribble he likes to use is roulette, in which he rotates his body around the ball to escape his marker. Pele, on the other hand, is one of the greatest dribblers in history, pioneering the creation of several dribbles. One of Pele's most iconic dribbles was the nutmeg, in which he passed the ball between his opponent's legs, an effective move to get rid of his markers and show his superiority. Another dribble Pele used a lot was fake shot, in which he pretended to kick the ball towards goal, but at the last moment, he changed direction. Pele's dribbling repertoire was huge, with moves that combined great technique and agility. And although dribbling ability is subjective, Pele is considered the father of dribbling, so points to him. Endurance In terms of physical endurance, both players have always been good, but who could move more during matches? Kylian Mbappe, for example, is a player well known for his explosive acceleration. His physical stamina is essential to his dynamic style of play, enabling him to outpace opponents with his speed while maintaining the intensity of the game from start to finish. According to the Champions League 2023 statistics, Mbappe ran 61.6 kilometers in eight games, which is an average of 7.7 .7 kilometers run per game, showing that he can move well during matches. On the other hand, football was very different in Pelé's day. Although he had good physical stamina, this wasn't the main physical characteristic required by players on the pitch. That's because, in his day, a footballer only covered an average of around 4 kilometers per game. As Bappe is better at this skill, point to him. Assists Both players are known for being collaborative on the pitch, but who had the better ability to provide assists? Kylian Bappe, for example, stands out in this regard. His vision and ability to pass the ball masterfully contribute to his exceptional ability to provide valuable assists for his teammates. Another notable aspect is his great speed, which allows him to open up spaces to provide decisive assists. According to some up-to-date statistics, it is estimated that Mbappe has already made around 128 assists in 388 games, which equates to an impressive average of around 33 assists for every 100 games played. King Pele, on the other hand, was able to create good moves that resulted in goals for his team. According to some sources, it is estimated that throughout his career, Pele made a total of 362 assists in 825 official games, an average of almost 44 assists every 100 games. A good number of assists considering that he was a striker and that his main objective was to score goals. And because Pele has a much higher average, he easily wins this round. Speed Both football stars were very agile players on the pitch, but who could achieve the greatest speed? The star Pele, for example, was an incredibly skillful and agile player on the pitch, but he stood out more for his technical ability, while his speed wasn't the main factor in his style of play. And because he played so long ago, there are no official records of the maximum speed he reached. Kylian Mbappe, meanwhile, is considered one of the fastest players in the world. His explosive acceleration and top speed make him an extremely dangerous attacker for opposing defenses, managing to create spaces and goal-scoring opportunities with great ease. Mbappe also has good ball control, which allows him to change direction and dribble with speed, making him even more efficient in his attacking actions. According to data from the Champions League 2023, it is estimated that the maximum speed reached by Kylian Mbappe was 35.60 km per hour. But in other competitions, this figure was even higher. And although both strikers are fast, it's very difficult to beat Kylian Mbappe in this regard. Strength In terms of physical strength, 
The two players had similar body characteristics, but who was the strongest? King Pele, for example, had a slight physique and average height, standing at 5 feet 8 inches and weighing around 154 pounds, which put him at a disadvantage in physical contests against defenders. However, the Brazilian star was able to compensate for this lack of strength with his refined and impressive technical ability, even when faced with tough marking from opposing defenders. Pele was able to overcome them and score goals regularly. Kylian Mbappe, on the other hand, is a player with a very athletic physique standing at 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighing around 165 pounds with a reasonable amount of muscle mass. Through his good physical strength, he can defend the ball and withstand the impact of defenders, and with his agility and balance, he can masterfully avoid being tackled by opponents. As Bappe has a more imposing physique, points to him. Passing Everyone knows that the two football stars were exceptional players, but who has the better passing ability? Kylian Mbappe, for example. His passing ability is one of the reasons why he stands out as a complete and versatile player. His ability to read the game allows him to find empty spaces and distribute the ball efficiently to his teammates. According to the Champions League 2023 statistics, Mbappe made 272 passes in eight games with a good accuracy of almost 78%, which represents an average of 34 passes per game with accuracy, taking into account that he also had four complete crosses. Pele, on the other hand, was a player with incredible passing ability. He was especially skillful at short and medium passes. Using his technique to dribble past opponents and provide beautiful passes, the Brazilian also excelled at long-distance passing, especially in counter-attacking situations for his team. Pele also had a good ability to pass the ball in pressurized situations, which made him a valuable player in decisive of moments. In FIFA, for example, Bappe usually has a passing score of 80, while Pele had a score of 93. In other words, we can say that Pele was probably the better passer. Shots and Goals Everyone knows that both strikers were expert finishers, but who has the best goal conversion rate? Kylian Bappe, for example, is a striker with a keen goal-scoring instinct. His speed is a powerful weapon that helps him get past opposing defenses and create good scoring opportunities. He is easily able to evade his markers, taking advantage of his speed to create space and score goals. In situations where he is alone against the goalkeeper, he manages to stay calm and find the best angle to shoot from. Mbappe is also capable of shooting with both feet, demonstrating an impressive versatility that makes him a great threat regardless of the position and situation he's in. According to some sources, throughout his career, it is estimated that Mbappe has scored around 277 goals in 388 games, which works out to an average of 71 goals every 100 games. Pelé, for his part, is considered one of the best strikers of all time. He had an extraordinary shooting technique, with both his right and left foot, and was able to score goals from any angle and any distance. Pelé also had an excellent ability to position himself, which allowed him to always be in the right place at the right time. Although there are controversies about his number of goals, considering only official matches, FIFA reckons that he has scored 762 goals in 825 matches, an impressive 93 goals per 100 games, and because Pele has a much higher conversion rate, he wins this round. Awards both footballing idols were very prominent on the pitch, but which one has more significant achievements? Kylian Mbappe, for example, has won many awards playing for PSG, such as six times French champion, three times French cup winner, three times French super cup winner, and two times French league cup winner. As a member of the French national team, Mbappe has already won the UEFA Nations League and even the coveted World Cup in 2018. Meanwhile, Pelé was one of the most honored athletes in history, starting with the Ballon d'Or, although at the time only European players competed. In 2015, the list of winners was revised using the current rules, which saw Pelé awarded seven Ballons d'Or. Playing for the clubs he played for, the Brazilian won two Copa Libertadores and two Intercontinental Cups. As for World Cups, Pelé is by far the most honored player of all time, having won three World Cups for Brazil. And it's no coincidence that the king of football has already been voted the best footballer of the 20th century by FIFA. All in all, there's no doubt that Pelé was the most honored player. Market Value Both football magnates were big names for the teams they played for, but which one was the most valuable and in demand by clubs? Pelé, 
for example, was the highest paid athlete of his time, with a contract worth $2 million a year, far below the amount players receive today. But according to some estimates, if Pele played today, his salary would be one of the highest in the world. Kylian Mbappe, on the other hand, is not far behind, currently playing for Paris Saint-Germain. It is estimated that he is one of the highest paid players in the world, with a weekly salary of 1.5 million euro, which means an annual salary of 72 million euros. As for his market value, Mbappe is the second most expensive player ever to be transferred, with a whopping 180 million euros. And because Mbappe has a higher salary and market value, he easily wins this round. At the end of this battle, we had 4 points for Bappe against 5 points for Pelé, making him the winner. But if you think there are still other arguments in favor of one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, are you enjoying this video? So click on like and subscribe before continuing to watch this video.